Our top focus on we're on right now. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is projected to win the South Carolina Republican primary and defeat lone rival Nikki Haley in her home state. Well, the former president has emerged victorious in all of the GOP nominating competitions held so far. He says he has never seen the Republican Party as unified as it is right now. Thank you very much. Wow. That is really something. This was a little sooner than we anticipated. It was an even bigger win than we anticipated. And I was just informed that we got double the number of votes that has ever been received in the great state of South Carolina. So. That's pretty good. So it's a record times two, and there's something going on in the country. Some really great things are going on. There were 50 delegates up for grabs in South Carolina, and this win has brought the Republican front runner one step closer to securing the 1,215 delegates that he needs for the presidential nomination. The competition was open to all registered voters. But anyone who voted in the state's Democratic primary was not allowed to participate. Well, Trump is now even better positioned heading to Super Tuesday as he continues his unbeaten streak. This victory has multiplied his likelihood to succeed in the 15-state voting bonanza on March 5th. But this defeat on a home state has left Haley to consider her dwindling options. Her already struggling campaign is now likely to face renewed pressure. But the former South Carolina governor has vowed to remain in the race, at least through the high-stakes Super Tuesday. As she addressed the supporters post her crushing defeat, Haley continued to, pace, to place all her bets on the argument that she is best poised to win over Biden in November. America will come apart if we make the wrong choices. This has never been about me or my political future. We need to beat Joe Biden in November. I don't believe Donald Trump can beat Joe Biden. While Trump has an iron grip on the Republican base, it might not be enough to guarantee a win in November's election. South Carolina was a chance for him to show that he can expand his coalition beyond voters who are white, older and without a college degree. But nearly 9 in 10 South Carolina primary voters were white, making it difficult to see if Trump has made inroads with black voters he attempted to win over. And then I got indicted a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. It's, it's been pretty amazing, but it possibly, I don't know, maybe there's something there. And for more on this, uh, we earlier spoke to Ray Locker, journalist and author from South Carolina, listening to what he had to say on uh, Haley's defeat and Trump's victory in South Carolina. Well, what you mentioned earlier is he gets 44 out of 50 delegates at stake. So basically, South Carolina is a winner-take-all primary. You finish first, you get the most votes, you get the delegates. There's nobody else who's going to get delegates. So... He continues to accumulate the delegates he needs to get the nomination, and that's not going to change. And I don't think anybody's really surprised by today's outcome. 